Welcome to Amazing Fragrances. My name is Simone and I'm going to talk to you today about some new perfumes that I bought from Kayali. The Kayali brand is a part of the Huda Beauty and give you my honest opinion on them. In this channel we talk about fragrances and give you the honest opinion of how I feel about it. So let's get started. First we're going to start with the packaging here. So this one is Kayali Citrus 8 and this is the 50 milliliter or 1.7 ounce bottle and what I like about it is that it's very beautiful. It's actually made of hard paper I believe so definitely very nice. Uh, you can use it, reuse it. Um, perfume comes in like that. On the back of the perfume they have the notes for what's inside. Of the perfume and on this one it says it has bergamot pink grapefruit rose musk and oak moss so we open it like this and the perfume pops out like that and this is supposed to be a citrusy scent so I already like that because it's clear and you can usually tell the clear perfumes are more citrusy and more on the floral side so let's give it a smell See, I didn't have any strips today, folks, so I'm going to actually use the back of my paper here and spray that. Mmm, yeah, so that does smell very good. This one, when, it, when you spray it, first impression is uh, very citrusy, very fresh. It opens up definitely summer wear. You're going to wear this in the summertime, and it's very light. If you wear it in the office, you're not going to offend anyone. It's not very, very strong, so I'm definitely seeing this one to be one that you will probably layer with something else. Possibly a oud. I'm not really smelling too much rose, but I definitely do smell the bergamot. You smell the citrus, and then you smell the bergamot. And one perfume I'd like to compare this to, which is one of my all-time favorites, is Jessica McClintock's perfume, uh, self-titled Jessica McClintock. Um, that's probably the best floral I've ever smelled, and I'm always trying to see if anyone can outdo that floral. Um, this one smells very good, though. It does not offend. It's not too flory, if that makes sense. You're not getting a whole uh, boost of carnations, which is a scent that I really don't really too much like but it's very very nice very calm and very very pretty so I would definitely recommend it this one actually I ordered it was very hard to find some of the Kayali perfumes um, I would say to order from the website um, hudabeauty.com I ordered on a Sunday I believe and everything arrived by Wednesday and the wonderful thing about Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty excuse me, is that they will give you a coupon um, for signing up for text messages things like that so I was actually able to save 15% on my first order. Um, this one for the 50 mil was $89. So I believe it comes in three sizes, but she does run out of product on the website. So I was uh, able to get the 50 mil bottle and I would suggest it is bottle worthy. Um, if you're not too sure about your floral scents, then I would definitely say to try to get a smaller bottle or possibly the sample first to see how you feel about it. But it does smell wonderful and see it fits right back there in the packaging. Very pretty. And yeah, I would say that this is definitely bottle worthy. It smells very good. Um, something I would layer this with if I uh, layered it, and I definitely do love to layer fragrances, I would say to have a musk, a clean musk. Nothing with roses. Um, I would say like a fresh musk scent to go under this to first apply that and then apply the citrus on the top of it. And that will boost the citrus um, scent on top of that. And then you will smell amazing possibly all day. So I will come back in another video and give you my impression possibly of some other ones that I've come with of layering with this one. But try this out and tell me what you think and comment down below and let me know how you feel about it as well. This was Huda Beauty Citrus Number 8 Eau de Perfume.
weeks. Bye-bye.